Hello everyone, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a collective reading, taking a look at what are your person's deepest thoughts and feelings about you currently. All right, let's get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, here we go. Spirit, angels, and guys, please show me what are the collective person's deepest thoughts and feelings currently for the collective. What are this person's deepest thoughts and feelings currently for the collective? Thank you, Spirit. Let's see, whoever it is that the collective is currently connecting to and dealing with in love. So we have the Ten of Pentacles. We also have the Nine of Pentacles. We also have the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like this is telling me what um, this person thinks about you. So this person, this person definitely thinks that you're someone who's very successful, someone who's very independent, um, someone who is a hard worker. You might be someone who is, you know, very well off financially. You might be someone who has a really good career. Um, You might be someone who has a very nice house. I feel like this person admires um, the material things that you've been able to acquire in your life for some of you. But also this person admires um, your res resourcefulness. They see you as someone who's very resourceful, someone who's very resilient also, um, disciplined, responsible, mature. You have a really good head on your shoulder. You know how to take care of yourself. You know how to manage yourself. You know how to manage your life and your responsibilities. Um, and you do it all on your own. You don't, you don't need help from anyone or you don't need support from anyone. You're very self-sufficient. Yeah, and it just kind of looks like everything you've been able to achieve or accomplish in your life has been through hard work and effort and discipline not because anyone gave it to you. Or not because you received it for free. Yeah. I feel like this person also sees you as someone who <clears throat> who's like very talented also, um, very skillful or just very um, intelligent. Hmm. Mature, I'm definitely getting a strong energy of them seeing you as someone who's just very mature. And you think progressively the way you think is progressive and they like that about you. You think about your future. You're mindful about your future. You're also mindful about creating um, a good future for yourself, you know, a stable and abundant future for yourself. You're not someone who just settles for you know, anything. You're not someone who settles for any for just anything. You have standards, you have strong values, you know your worth, you know you deserve the best, and um, that's what you leave yourself open for, 
for the best. Okay. So this person looks at you and thinks about you in a very, very positive light. Very positive light. It makes me feel or it makes me think that this person um, might potentially not be at your level in regards to the stability that you have and the abundance that you have, also the maturity that you have, that you possess. It makes me feel like this person um, doesn't quite measure up to your level or to your value or the things that you've been able to accomplish for yourself. They fall short. All right. What else can you tell me about this person's... Um, Deepest thoughts and feelings for the collective spirit, please. All right, so we have the Page of Pentacles. Oh, well, what did I say? <laughs> I told you. They definitely fall short. Literally, this almost feels like literally short. For some of you, this person's shorter than you. You see the height difference here? Or maybe you maybe you can't tell. Page of Page of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles, there's a height difference. But not necessarily. That's very specific. Alright, so we have the Page of Pentacles. Tell me more spirit. We also have the Four of Wands. Oh jeez. We also have the Nine of Swords here. Okay, well, this person definitely um, wants and desires to establish a relationship with you. They definitely look at you as someone who has everything they could ever, everything they could ever want and desire in a person. They look at you like you're the total package. You are um, basically their dream come true, their wish fulfillment. I can feel the, the star energy here. They look at you like you're a star. Yeah, I feel the star energy for some reason, the star card in Tarot. So they definitely want a relationship with you. Um, that's their deepest desire. They also, you know, want to settle down with you and have a commitment with you. Um, I'm not so sure that this person is capable of having a commitment, though. They are showing up as a page of pentacles. And page of pentacles tends to be someone who, you know, they like the idea of having a commitment with someone, but in regards to being able to um, take care of a commitment or like nurture a commitment, build a commitment, create a commitment, they can't, they can't do that. They can't sustain a commitment because um, the relationship will end up being one-sided because they just can't bring to the table the same that you can bring, you know? So it's not going to be equal. This is someone who is barely starting to try to create stability in their life and security in their life, you know? This is kind of like a student energy someone who's still studying. They haven't really found a job yet, a real job yet. Um, Page of Pentacles normally can barely, if this person lives on their own, they can barely pay their bills, you know? They can barely uh, keep up with their responsibilities. 
usually this person needs help from someone. Almost, almost always Page of Pentacles needs someone to help them and someone to take care of them. And many times Page of Pentacles doesn't really know what they want to do in their life. Like they don't know, they don't know what they want to be yet. They don't know what they want to, what career they want to go for. They haven't really set their goals yet, you know? They haven't really figured out their goals in life yet. Uh, with the Nine of Swords, it kind of looks like this person is definitely feeling a lot of stress. And it has to do with you and this relationship that they want with you. And I'm going to clarify to see why they're stressed. Tell me about the Nine of Swords, Spirit, please. Clarify the Nine of Swords for this person. So we have the Six of Swords. For some of you, there's physical distance between the two of you. Um, and that's something that's stressing them out. But this can also just represent emotional distance between the two of you. They feel like you're far away from them emotionally. Emotionally speaking. They feel like there's a big disconnect between the two of you. Tell me more about the Nine of Swords. We also have the Sun. And we have the Ace of Swords. With the Strength card. Which is the Empress. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so I feel like this person really wants to like communicate with you and and express themselves with you, but they feel like they can't. They feel like they can't. There's something about them feeling inferior to you. They view you as the sun and also um, empress energy. The person in the strength card is an empress here. So they view you as someone who is much better than them, you know? Someone who has a lot more value than them. Someone who has a lot more to give than them. So there is an energy of them recognizing that truth and feeling very inferior to you. But it's almost like they want to say something to you, but they feel like they can't. I want to, I want to know what they want to say. What does this person want to say to um, the collective spirit, please? What is it that this person wants to communicate, express, or say? So we have the Ten of Swords. We also have the Five of Swords. The Six of Pentacles. Oh. And the chariot, I see. Yeah, I feel like this person definitely wants to say something like, I made a mistake with the five of swords here. I made a mistake. I played myself. Is what I'm getting, I played myself. Hmm. Yeah, Five of Swords is someone who plays head games or mind games, um, or head games and mind games. Um, so I do feel like this person played a lot of games with you while they were with you. If, if you two have some sort of history with each other, I feel like they played games with you. What was this person thinking, though, when they played games is what I want to know. Tell me about that Five of Swords spirit. What was this person thinking with this Five of Swords energy? 
Ooh, the Nine of Cups. Yikes. Mm. They were thinking they were thinking that that they were some sort of hot shot and that they would have tons of options if they walked away from you. If they left this relationship behind or if they sabotaged this relationship with you. Yeah, they thought they were a hot shot and that they would have lots of options lining up to be with them and to basically replace you. Yikes. Well, that's that's arrogant. I'm definitely getting an arrogance coming from this person, strong arrogance energy. What else can you tell me about the Five of Swords spirit, please? So we have the Temperance here, Temperance card. Could be a Sagittarius. We also have the Seven of Swords. What in the world? Why is the Temperance here? Temperance and the Seven of Swords, Nine of Cups. Oh, okay. Yeah, this person thought that um, that you would want them more. Also, if they if if they ghosted you or disappeared or disconnected from you, they thought that that would cause you to want them even more and potentially come chasing after them. The thing is that now they're realizing that um, they made a mistake. I don't know why this person would think that. That's so weird. You know, I don't feel like this person makes sense. It could just be that. It could just simply be that this person... Um, yeah, because they're looking at you as an empress and, and a nine of pentacles, male or female. So I don't know why they would think you... you would come running after them. I mean, they must have known that that's not going to happen. So that's what I'm saying. I feel like this person, that's, that's what I said in the beginning. This person feels like they played themselves. They were trying to play a game on, they were trying to play games on you or play a game on you and they ended up playing that game on themselves. I just feel like this person um, doesn't think before they act. They don't properly think and analyze what they're doing before they take action. They do it the other way around. They take action first, and then afterwards they think and analyze about, about what they did. Yeah. But this kind of connects with um, their energy here showing up as a page of pentacles. This is someone who tends to be not very smart, you know. They tend to be a little bit overconfident also. But that's because um, there's still a lot of growing up that needs to happen with the page of pentacles. Um, they still haven't been exposed to uh, enough difficulties or hardships in their life or challenges in their life for them to actually learn how, how to be more of an adult and think more wisely and intelligently, intelligently, you know? Because this just looks like a really dumb move that they tried to pull, pull on you for nothing. Because it, it doesn't look like it landed them anywhere positive. It just kind of made them fall back even more. 
It made them fall back even more. It made them, it, it created even more distance between you and them. I think this person is, real, is realizing now um, what a fool, you know, I was foolish. I shouldn't have done that. That was stupid. That was dumb. What was I thinking? Now I just made things 10 times worse for myself. I made things 10 times worse for myself. Now what am I going to do? Hmm. Okay. What are they going to do, actually? I want to know that. All right, Spirit. Um, what actions is this person going to take towards the collective moving forward, please? What actions will they take towards the collective moving forward? So we have the King of Cups. Also, they're going to go down that route. They're going to take that. Yeah, they're going to they're going to take that route of love bombing you, King of Cups, showering you, shower showering you with love and emotions, affection, care, maybe even gifts, uh sweet talking you, charming you. Expressing their love to you or, or extending out some sort of gesture of, of love or affection. Yeah, so that's, that's, um, that's the road they're going to drive down. That's the strategy they're going to use here. Okay. Well, let's see how you're going to respond. How is the collective going to respond to this person's actions, Spirit? How is the collective going to respond to this person's actions towards them? Oh, the Queen of Cups. Well, I didn't see that coming. Well, well, well. What do we have here? King of Cups and the Queen of Cups reunited once again. Reunited and it feels so good is what I got in my head. That's a song. I don't know who sings that song, actually. My mom would know who sings that song. I know she likes that song. Reunited and it feels so good. <laughs> That's interesting. I mean, this doesn't mean that you're going to respond favorably, but you definitely have feelings for this person just as much as they have, you know, strong, really strong feelings for you with the, uh, with the King of Cups. Um, there is definitely mutual love between you and this person. But let me clarify um, your response here. Spirit, why is the, uh, the Queen of Cups showing up here? In regards to the collective's response. The high priestess. Okay. Wait a second. You two have a spiritual connection as well? Look at that. King of Cups and Queen of Cups with the high priestess. This is a very strong emotional connection between the two of you. But a spiritual. But also a spiritual connection. A deep spiritual connection between the two between the two of you. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. Tell me more. The Justice card, okay. And decision. And also the Emperor with the Four of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Okay, well, you know. That's a tough one. Not sure what you what how I don't know what you're going to do here, collective, because this is a strong connection. Now we have the emperor and the emperor showing up. So we have king and queen of cups, emperor and empress. 
with the high priestess justice and the four of cups yeah this person definitely wants to make things right with you is what i'm getting um again I'm, I'm getting that they feel really foolish i keep getting that they feel really really dumb and really really foolish they're definitely realizing and recognizing that they totally played themselves they 100 percent played themselves they played themselves with their own game and that's not what was supposed to happen but that's what happened and they just feel like they just feel like they made a mess they made a mess they completely um broke apart this relationship more than maybe it was already broken and they feel like they're gonna have a hard time bringing this relationship back together the way they want it to the way they want it to be So prepare to be like really love bombed by this person, like like heavily love bombed by this person because it's like they don't have any excuse. So they don't have any any anything to tell you that would excuse that that would the sorry that would excuse their actions, that would justify their actions. Like they just they have nothing, you know. It's like what can I say? What can I possibly say? How, how can I possibly excuse myself or justify myself? There's nothing I can say. That's how they feel. So because they feel like, you know, they can't, there's not, they have no def defense. They're going to be coming towards you with the biggest love bombing energy possible hoping that maybe that will be enough to pull at your heartstrings and you know to make you feel bad for them and hopefully um take them back we do have the justice card so it does look like um you you will have to make a decision with the justice card so the verdict is up to you yeah this relationship is in your hands the the fate of this relationship is in in your hands you're you're the judge here you're the one who is going to give the final verdict you're connecting to the high priestess so um you're definitely going to try to connect to your intuition because I feel like you're you're going to be feeling a little bit indecisive about what to do. And I feel like you are going to connect to your intuition to see if that can help you. But, you know, justice is all about making like a logical decision. It's like an air sign. It's, it's an air element. Justice has an air element to it and you're showing up with a water element to you. So these two don't really mix together. These two energies are polar opposites, you know, it's air and water. So are you going to make a decision based on your logic? or you know what your mind is telling you or are you going to make a decision based on what your heart is telling you so i feel like that's that is what you're going to have to figure out but let's get some advice for you spirit what advice will can you give the collective please for those who resonate with this story What advice can you give the collective for those who resonate with this story here and this reading? So the advice is the chariot card. That's that's an interesting advice. You know, it's interesting because the chariot card has a has a white cat and a black cat here, which basically represents like polar opposites. 
um, which is what I was telling you. There's, there's two energies here that are polar opposites, air element and water element. Yeah. Hmm. Why is the uh, the chariot card the advice for the collective spirit? Clarify the chariot. Oh my God, the world. Why is the why is the advice so vague sometimes? I swear, sometimes spirit doesn't really want to tell you what, what to do. You know. The, the, both of these energies are very, very vague. The world reminds me of the same thing, that, that polar opposite energy that keeps showing up. The world can represent the closing of a cycle, but it can also represent um, having a new beginning. within within whatever situation you're in so you can either have a new beginning within that same situation or you can close that situation and and leave it behind and and move forward and move on you know it just kind of represents both both scenarios which is why i'm telling you i feel like the advice is you know make your own decision <laughs> sometimes spirit does <laughs> sometimes spirit doesn't want to tell you what to do they uh, spirit just wants you to um uh make come up with your own conclusion this world card it makes me feel like um there's no wrong answer or right answer i i am getting that like um It, whatever is meant to be will be or whatever decision you make it's going to it's it's going to benefit you regardless in in one way or another it's going to benefit you like so this can represent that you know if you do stay where you're at you know you're you're going to keep learning or you're going to keep growing you're going to keep like evolving um but if you decide to not stay where you're at and you decide to you know completely go in a different direction you're also going to learn and grow and expand and evolve you know so it doesn't matter where you go like you're still going to be like experiencing uh, growth. You're still going to be experiencing growth regardless. Hmm. Yeah, like I said, uh, it's vague, but it's very vague, but it, the spirit doesn't, doesn't want to say one thing or another is what I'm getting. I feel like it's up to you. Like uh, like the white cat or the black cat, there's two directions that you can go on and two different directions. And um, you're going to be fine regardless what you, ch what you choose, what you decide ultimately to do. You're going to be... Um, yeah, you're going to be like... Um, growing or evolving i keep getting that anything anything else you can tell me about this spirit with the chariot in the world six of pentacles the fool six of pentacles the fool the sun Huh. All right. Well, the sun and the fool is a very nice energy. This feels like a very independent energy, honestly. 
you know what's interesting now that I'm now, now that I'm looking at, at all of these cards together it just kind of feels like your priority is not going to be this relationship even if you stay in this relationship with this person it's almost like that's not going to be your priority anyway like you're still going to go off and do your own thing and and live live your life independently regardless if this person is in the picture or not you know it just kind of looks like there's a lot that you want to achieve and accomplish for yourself there's a lot of goals that you have yet to 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 reach and you're not going to get let this relationship get get in the way of that is what I'm is what I'm getting here you're not going to let this relationship hinder you or or hold you back um it just kind of looks like you're in that stage of your life where you want to do what makes you happy not what makes this relationship happy you know what makes you happy you're you're very focused on yourself and very focused on um living your life your way without any um external factors uh, getting in the way of, of what you're trying to do and achieve in your life. So I guess maybe that's why it doesn't matter which way you go. It just because it kind of looks like no matter what, your, this relationship is, is going to go to the side anyway. Like you're going to put this relationship to the side anyway. Is what I'm getting, if that makes sense. Okay. I'm going to stop the reading here. So I hope this reading helped in some way and I hope it made sense to you in some, in some way. If it did, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Take care.